man, in this video that I'm gonna post in here, this German woman says that black women are no competition. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm going to post this clip and I'm going to let it play all the way through so you can uh, see what this woman is talking about. And, and then I'll talk about it once the video uh, is done playing. I already knew I had him because there was simply no competition out there for me. But let's just look at it objectively. You had this average black American guy who now was able to choose between what he was dealing with before and somebody completely new. And let me tell you, the moment I stepped into that man's life, he really didn't know how to deal with my femininity because I was not loud. I was not screaming. I was not trying to, you know, be louder than him. I didn't interrupt him because that's not something that I learned from home. If somebody would speak, and especially a man, you would let that man speak and then you would listen and then say whatever you have to say, right? So I was clean. I cooked. He didn't know what it was when a woman is actually in the room asking him, like, do you want something to drink? Before I got myself something to drink. Do you want something to eat? Before I started to eat my food, I would ask him, do you want to have a bite? I would come out of nowhere and just have a, a fruit bowl and just offer him some fruit. He didn't know none of this. So my husband back then boyfriend really thought this was a dream come true. He didn't know how to deal with none of this because all this me coming through just being nurturing by nature, his peoples and his family didn't even do that for him. You know, like the family, there is no family unit. The average family, especially black American family has barely a family unit. You know, there is no breakfast, lunch and dinner at set times. And these are things that I introduced my husband to with my family. Can you imagine that impact that I had on him back then? So gentlemen, do not be afraid of traveling. There are so many more women out there who are willing to take care of you. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they're young, it doesn't matter if they're older. They are willing to take care of you, willing to work with you, willing to be a part of your life. You don't have to deal with whatever you are dealing with back in your hometown because unfortunately a lot of American women are lost you said in the delusional world that they are living in and they don't even understand that they are going to be lonely for a long time if not for the rest of their life they say by choice but i don't believe them all right man so this black woman pretty much lets the the cat out the bag or the cat out the hat you know man i've been somebody that has lived in Germany for over three years, you know, in an earlier part of my life, you know, when I was very young in my career. I lived there, uh, Grafenwehr, Germany, traveled all around, uh, you know, and then I was, I got married uh, on the back end of my tenure there. And I didn't marry a German woman, but I will tell you that what she's saying is not only is not only speaking to black women but it's speaking to western women and this is what i mean by that i know more men that are married that have prospering successful marriages that are married to foreign women from other countries especially countries where the family unit uh, is patriarchal. Biblically, marriage, lineage, righteousness is based upon patriarch, a patriarchal system. So I know more men uh, that are married to women that are not Western women that have better success, stronger families, more cohesive families. Now, the haughty and high-minded daughter of Zion that chooses to live rebellious, the reason she's no competition 
for a nurturing or a modest or a meek or a cooperative woman is because a man or a black man, when she gets with him, she's on his team. It's not her wanting to have the man, but fighting for her independence the whole time. That stuff this woman said about them just cooking something because they think you hungry and, and all, man, that's, that is, that is 100% spot on. Man, when I was in Germany, you could throw a rock and hit a German woman like that because that's the norm. I'm not saying 100% of all German women were like that, but that's the norm. They have an average of being like that, like 70%. It was almost uh, awkward if you get one uh, that didn't conduct themselves like that, and then you will often find out that uh, they got some Western family to where they didn't adopt it the ways of Western woman and picked up that rebellious spirit. You know, when it comes to uh, conversation, you know, more soft-spoken, more cooperative. Like I said, you don't have to fight them from day one because they're on your team. There is none of that mental gymnastics and manipulation of I'm on your team, but I'm not on your team. I'm on your team when it benefits me, but I ain't on your team when it don't. You ain't got to deal with none of that. And this goes for uh, the women of other countries that men go over there and find wives or men, you know, uh, take them as wives. And oftentimes, man, it pisses. Let me tell you something. The first woman that'll get pissed off at that is a haughty and high-minded uh, woman or a daughter of Zion that has not had relationship success, doesn't know what to do with a good man because she is uh, normalized dysfunction and rebellion, she'll be the first one to get pissed off. And, you know, the reason I'm, I'm, I'm adding context to what she said is, man, if you are a haughty and high-minded, rebellious, uh, unaccountable, not submissive, not modest, not meek, don't have a quiet and gentle spirit, which the Most High Yah says in his sight is very precious, you're gonna have a hard time. You're gonna have a hard time uh, keeping a man or a man wanting anything to do with you. And you sexualizing yourself ain't gonna cut it. That'll get him in the door, but he ain't staying. A good man can discern a rebellious woman, uh, a disrespectful woman, you know, well before She's up close and personal. Man, when I was in Germany, you know, I had homeboys that had to deal with nonsense from women they were married to when they got over there. You know, when I lived in Germany, man, I, I, I saw a couple brothers get divorced and it was a painful experience because they brought Western women to a country to where women don't treat the men like Western women do, like crap. They don't do that over there. So these brothers would go through the painful process of divorce. Man, they wives would get sent back home once the divorce is finalized or they wives would leave. Once that ink dry, man, it wouldn't take long before they didn't found them a, a, a German woman who is happy to fulfill her womanly duties, happy to do it. And her fulfilling her role is not grievous to her. So I'll tell you, uh, that German woman is no competition to a, uh, a rare, modest and meek daughter of Zion. A man just gravitates towards that, uh, you know, just because it's the will of the most high, yeah, a good man will gravitate towards that. but. For the average daughter of Zion that you see in the West, like 70%, oh yeah, oh yeah, that German woman's putting up points on the board. Just to listen to the stuff that she described, you're not getting that kind of care, attention to detail, and, and nurturing out of your average black woman. That's the reason I'm saying average, based upon a 70th percentile. You're not getting that. Not in the West when you gotta think the daughters of Zion, what is promoted, 
what the two nines are promoting and brainwashing and conditioning the daughters of Zion is to be like Sexy Red, to be like uh, Megan Thee Stallion, to be like Kim Kardashian, to, to be like Megan Good. And you realize all of these women are, are unmarried or either divorced or either put away. You see what I'm saying? I got homeboys now that are, I got, I got brothers now that are, are married to German women and they are happy, man. Happy that they ain't got to deal with the mess that they see other brothers dealing with. Trying to stick by your, your, your strong black woman. And I'm married. I'm married to a black woman. But, you know, I chose not to marry a German woman. I just, I just thought it would be too much cultural differences. But, man, I'll tell you, looking back hindsight 2020, man, I know a lot of good brothers uh, that have beautiful families that have, you know, married women from other countries and their relationship has prospered. And their rate of divorce in these other countries is not as high as it is in Western country. It's not as high as it is in Western America where, you know, 70% of all divorces filed are filed by women, 90% if they're educated. Man, you know, it wasn't nothing for a German woman, you know, back when I was fornicating and living lawless and all that, for them to want to, uh, you know, spend the weekend with you, clean up and do all of this. And at a bare minimum, they was happy to go get something to eat. And they just wanted to, they wanted your presence. They wanted to be on the team. And you got that genuine feeling that you didn't have an enemy in your damn house. So yeah, part of what she was saying is true. But there are some women out there, there are some daughters of Zion that uh, a discerning brother would rather choose a daughter of Zion than to deal with uh, a woman from another nation, you know? And I've done Sabbath teachings on what Americans know as interracial dating versus biblically what the Most, Most High Yah says, you know, do not uh, date or give your sons or daughters over to men or women of other nations. I've done videos on that before. But just wanted to share that and add a little context to it because if you are a rebellious, you know, unaccountable, uncooperative woman, you just gotta have a, a, a hard time, period. And those are, those are uh, the women that will generally get mad uh, at the statements that this woman made because you don't wanna do what this woman is doing. And they've always said, had the statements that, what you won't do, somebody else will do, that's one of them cases. What you refuse to do, that is your role as a woman, man, there's a woman out there, it may take a man time to find her, but when he finds her, he ain't letting go of her. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.